This was truly an extraordinary event for Europe's digital signage industry. At the Invidis Executive Lounge, Europe's top 25 industry leaders met in Munich face to face for the first time since ISE 2020. One of the main talking points of the evening was green signage, a topic that is also top of Invidis agenda. So we took the opportunity to talk to some top European players about green signage and sustainability. And here is what they had to say. We are targeting big corporations, leaders at every sector, and they are really demanding more sustainable solutions. And it will be a trend that we will see, as we are seeing today, in, in many, many pitches, many tenders, uh, because, because it is really what they are committing to. At the end of the day, it's another parameter, no? and this is also something that is uh, compliant just for distribution, but also for the vendors. And that will be, of course, in, especially, for example, in the LED market, this is one of the main topics where we discuss uh, with the vendors and, and customers are looking for this. Most of the customers that we work for in the fashion retail market, they are uh, working a lot with a sustainability fashion retailer approach. So we, we have to explain them how we deliver all the products, what we do with all the package and the packaging and the, uh, when we install the projects. Our customers are day by day closer to these topics, especially because the final customers are asking to, be, to address these problems and uh, to show how the companies are moving to make our world more sustainable. From our side, it's a really big push internally to, uh, to invest into sustainable uh, solutions. Um, and then when it looks to uh, professional displays, uh, this is really something where we are uh, going to direct a lot of investments to transfer from a, a linear economy uh, where, where the end result is to dispose the product to a circular economy where the end result is to recycle the product. So this is going to be a big uh, trend for, for Philips. What is your strategy for, for Vertised slash grass fishing? We always say like, uh, we in everything, you, you can't do everything, but you need to do, do small steps all the time. So we are like ISO, uh, ISO 14000. Mm -hmm. So we work with like, we have targets every year where we want, where, where we want to move. And, uh, but uh, I really think that you could see like, what is the operational side? How do we live ourselves? <laughs> How do we travel and stuff? And the other side is like, what could we do from a software perspective and a solution perspective, hardware perspective? Sustainability is really a topic very important for the company, that's for sure. And uh, as uh, we integrate device management in our, in our solution, we can really manage the device, the player, make sure it doesn't take too much uh, power and memory, of course, switch on, switch on, totally the device, and really make sure that when it's on, it's ready for real, real power, real use, and to make sure that the consumption is really low. We are working on very, very special projects, so I can name it a little bit. It's called uh, bio, uh, it's made from, uh, from the, let's say, olive, bio olive, that's a, a material. So we are working on to make our plastic instead of that material. Really, this is very R&D uh, now, but maybe next ISC, who knows, we will bring that uh, new material. What we uh, just uh, recently launched is our uh, new generation of, uh, of uh, runtime, which allow to uh, run very complex application in very low power, so low consumption uh, uh, CPUs. And thanks to that, we believe we can lower the consumption of uh, many of the kiosk installation across the world. This is a big topic and I think a lot of customers ask for it in different ways. I mean, it's, uh, I mean, one way is the power consumption, how we can reduce the power consumption, and that we can do it several ways. I mean, turn off the screens or we can uh, add less hardware to it without media players, etc. 
but also how you can recycle the products after a lifetime, uh, how you can do that in a good way, uh, leaving as small footprint as possible. The challenge now, of course, with the emphasis on sustainability and uh, getting greener, is how do we become that much more environmentally friendly? And I think it really falls into three different areas. I'd say it was design, operations, and standards. And just very briefly, design, if you think of it in terms of how you design a solution, which is how we look at it, it's really all about things like pixel pitch. Are you really having the optimum pixel pitch? Uh, content, are you really doing content in the most environmentally friendly way? So is it too dynamic? Is it too much white? Those kinds of elements. And then operations, it, it's things like, do you need to run it at 100% or can you reduce the amount of power that you're actually utilizing uh, and, and save energy that way? Uh, and then standards, well, for us, we've been trying to do an exercise recently where we've been looking at it from the point of view of like car manufacturers. How many kilowatts per year do you use on a square meter of your screen? And it's very difficult to get that kind of information. So I think we need to see the industry move towards a set of standards where that kind of information is transparent and hopefully there are no Volkswagens in the picture. But then we can start to get some feel for which is the best economic and environmentally friendly solution over a five or ten year span. Because in the end, I think this is all about creating a, a something that is compelling, not only in terms of the environment, but also in terms of economic factors for our end users. We think about sustainability and green solutions. So one of the things is where do you need computing? I mean, electricity is a, is a huge part. Electricity, um, let's say, usage in general, but then also getting the capacity done. Yeah, and, and with computing, computing uses a lot of energy. So shutting down systems, if somebody's not there, a lot of intelligence within the system. So that's something we're working on. Uh, zero client topics, I mean, taking computing to the edge. When you take computing to the edge, you also have more control over the devices. You have possibilities to make more IoT and more digitalization. And this is a topic which for sure I see coming in the future.